managerial accounting, the budgeting process. You'll remember that we first prepared the sales budget, and the sales budget basically tells me what my total revenue is going to be, and also how many units I think I'm going to produce for each period of time. In this problem, it's each quarter, isn't it? So returning to problem P6, uh, we're making bottles of water. So once we know how many bottles of water we're going to sell each quarter, we now need to figure out how many bottles we need to produce. So we're just going to do the first two quarters. And you'll remember from the previous sales budget that we're going to sell 40,000 bottles of water in the first quarter and 30,000 bottles of water in the second. Now, because we like to keep our shelves full of bottles of water, we also need to consider what we want on the shelf at the end of the period. In other words, what's our ending finished goods? And we've made an assumption here that ending finished goods is equal to 10% of the next quarter's sales. So if I'm in the first quarter, I want to end the first quarter with 10% of the second quarter's sales. So 10% of 30,000 is 3,000 units. So as far as what my needs are to, for um, the first quarter, I need 43,000 bottles of water. Well, some of those bottles of water are already on the shelf. In other words, they're part of beginning finished goods. Now, does it make sense that if ending is equal to 10% of the next quarter, that the beginning finished goods inventory is equal to 10% of the current quarter? Because that was the assumption. So beginning finished goods would be 4,000 bottles of water. So how many bottles? So should I add or subtract that? Subtract, you're right. Because these 4,000 go to meeting our desired needs. So how many units do we need to produce? How many bottles of water? Well, we need to produce 39,000 bottles. Now to make sure you've got this correct, we'll do the second quarter. In the second quarter, we are going to produce 30,000. So that means the beginning finished goods for this quarter are 3,000, or 10% of that amount. The other way to check it is notice that ending for the first quarter becomes the beginning for the second. Now, ending finished goods. Hmm, I have to go look at the problem. In the third quarter, it says that we're going to sell 50,000 units. So if I'm going to sell 50,000, 10% of 50,000 is 5,000 bottles of water. So in the second quarter, I have needs for 35,000 bottles of water. Now, 3,000 of those bottles of water are from beginning finished goods inventory, aren't they? So how many units do I need to produce? 35 minus 30 is, oh, 35 minus 3,000 is, is it 32? So we'll make 32,000 bottles of water. Now, once we know how many bottles we need to produce, we then look at our inputs to making those. And so the next budget you're going to see me do is the materials, the labor, and the overhead.